day viewers you're on the front porch today with Walter sitting in a rocking chair and watching the birds frolicking in the front yard it's a rainy day not a cardinal and a ch chickadee it looks like competing for the sunflower seeds I was just sitting here thinking about my zinnias I grow them the last two years in a row I'll probably do them from now on the rest of my life you don't have to pay anything. You just save your seeds and replant them every year. You can spend a small fortune at the nursery or the big box store buying different flowers. But I'm quite well satisfied with those. My white roses, I'm going to dig that bush up. It loses the leaves every year. The knockout roses are doing good. They can stay. The Easter lilies are doing good. But i got two or three different types of rose bushes that just... The blight or something knocks them out here. I was going to tell you a story, but I got to think I wanted to tell you first. I'm sitting on the front porch, basically just waiting for a contrary Mary to get home. She had to go get her hair done. And her hairdresser's over at Fayetteville, Georgia, which is, I don't know, 25 miles away. But on the way back, you got to come back Highway 92. She called me and told me, the road was blocked for an accident with a fatality, so she had to go the other way. So there's no telling where she is. She's probably up around Terra Boulevard somewhere, cutting cross country, trying to get home. She'll get here eventually. But when there's a fatality like that, they pretty well shut the roads down around here until they investigate what happened. Well, I haven't got this story exactly thought up how to tell you so I'll just talk about it and maybe the story will make some sense when I get through telling it or maybe it won't looking out here at my grass it's only been a few days since I cut it we've had nothing but rain and look at that mess grow I've got a mixture of fescue but mostly St. Augustine grass growing out there And I'm going to have to cut it again real soon. But I thought I'd tell you a railroad story while we sit here waiting for the wife. Uh, we're not having one in particular to tell you. I thought I'd talk about, let's make it a Charlie Baxter story. Charlie was an old head. Uh, had quite a few years with the railroad when I came there. Charlie was known to take a nip once in a while. And he depended on his nip every once in a while, you know, on a regular basis. I guess you could say he was addicted to it. He had more than one time he got in trouble for drinking on the job. But that wasn't a topic of my... Hello? All right, she's going to be home pretty soon. Better step up my storytelling. Let's see, where was I? Charlie Baxter. We used to go on road trips. The road trip is when they put you in this big repair truck um, to go to various locations and repair cars that are in need of repair. And you can have a, a trip, say, go to Chambly and Rome and numerous places around Georgia where we had to go. And uh, Charlie was with me that day in the wheel truck. We called it a wheel truck because you carry wheels out in the back of it when you're changing wheels on a train or a boxcar. So we had been working all day. I was driving. Charlie spent most of his time napping, sitting over there on the passenger side. And I was known for getting the job done. I'd done knocked out 15 or 20 repairs. And it was getting on late. We were on overtime. It's like three or four o'clock in the afternoon. We had one more list on our things to do and that was at South Yard in Atlanta. Pulled up South Yard and right across the road from the yard office there is this little side track. I don't think they use it much anymore, but they had some trial levels in there from the old Lakewood Chevrolet plant that needed repair. Went over there and looked at the car. Charlie didn't even get out of the truck. And I saw it was a broke train line. We had some Wabco fittings, inch and a quarter, about yay long, that you could, like a quick repair fitting, you could screw it 
had rubber gaskets on both ends and you could put that on a broke pipe screw it together and repair it pretty quick we just shortened it to wabco fitting although wabco makes thousands of different products so i said i'll take care of this charlie you just sit here and take it easy i'm going to fix this car charlie said we don't have nothing to fix it with it let's go and, oh yes i do i'll reach back there in the side back of the truck and grab this wabco fit and got a pipe wrench and started off towards the car charlie jumped down out of that truck and come running up behind me snatch that wabco fitting off my hand he said i told you we don't have nothing to repair it with and with that he flung it so far down the hillside into the bushes <laughs> That you, nobody's ever found that. It's probably still down there around I-75 somewhere. I told you, we don't have nothing to repair that thing with. He, he wanted to go home and have a little nip. But uh, I, I laughed all the way all the way home. But Charlie, you could have just told me you was tired of working and we could go. You didn't have to work, throw away a $100 fit and <laughs> I had a fit of temper. But that was typical, Charlie. You didn't, you wouldn't think Charlie could drive that truck, but he ever got behind the wheel. You better hold on, because he went down the road like a back, bat out of Haiti. Last time I saw old Charlie, uh, he was retired, and I was in the wheel truck coming down downtown Atlanta, uh, in the busiest part of town. I hear this, you know, there's like four lanes of traffic on I-75. I hear this horn honking next to me, and I look over in the out the passenger tour, and there's old Charlie in his car or truck, I don't remember what he was driving, waving at me. I waved at him. He went on, made it, went on down the highway. It wasn't long after that I heard Charlie had passed on. So my last memory of old Charlie Baxter was waving at me from his car on I-75. But I'll never forget that. Old Charlie said, I told you, we don't have nothing to repair it with. Boing! It was gone. Anyway, that's just a little something I thought I'd share with you today in today's vlog. And Terry and Mary ought to be driving up the driveway. Maybe we can include her is the ending of this video.